Um, welcome to Mr. Coco's nurses class. This morning we'd like to do a simple procedure. But before I start, I've got um, uh, students from uh, Preso University. Okay, just uh, capture them. See. Okay, so perhaps. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what they've come for their TP? Okay, at Kalurushi College of Nursing. So we'll be with them for a while here. So we've come to do uh, this procedure with them so that we try and see how we can educate each other. So at this moment, we'd like to do a procedure called um, baby back. So we want to see how we can back a baby. So this baby can be back because uh, this baby has been admitted or the mother is admitted in the hospital or it's a newborn baby. Now maybe there are some issues in the hospital, but not really a baby in the incubator no those babies who are okay maybe the mother is sick or maybe the baby wasn't feeling too old and has been admitted as well okay, so we can birth this baby so for us to birth the baby we need to just have um, clean gloves or examination gloves then I, i'm having with me here hand sanitizer or you can wash hands using uh, water then uh, here i've got a towel for drying the baby then i also have a cap because you need to cover the baby's head after you bath its head. Then here I've got uh, clothing that the baby will have after um, being bathed. Okay. Then I also have hypo tray. On this hypo tray I have um, swabs. Okay, you see how I'm going to use the swabs. Then I also have uh, bathing soap, which is uh, suitable for the baby. Then I also have uh, hot water here. Okay, and then cold water. So we'll see how we're going to mix these two. So for me to start, I need to speak with the mother because the mother is somewhere, is somewhere nearby. So I need to talk to the mother. So I need to greet the mother just the way we do it every day. Good morning, Miss, uh, Mrs. Uh, Wendia. Okay, I'm student nurse number two. I've come to bath the baby. Is that fine with you? And she said, yes, it's fine. I can go ahead. Okay, is there anything I can do within uh, where I am uh, before I begin the procedure? She says, no. Okay. So I have to also confirm the name tag. So you know babies, you need to ensure that the baby has a name tag. So you need to see, okay, this baby has a name tag there, and it's a baby of Wembia. Okay. So at this moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, get sanitizer, okay, so that at least I'm safe and uh, protected from microorganisms, okay. So this is my sanitizer. Then after that, I can uh, wear... Gloves. Okay. So if you want, you can mix the water before you wear gloves. So there are no rules which say do not do this, do not do that. Okay. So you can mix the water if you want. Okay. Okay. So after donning gloves, then you can do the rest, which is uh, mixing the water. So let me just uh, go ahead and uh, mix now. Okay. So you start with um, cold water, not hot water. So you get cold water and pour in that dish. Okay. Okay. After that, you can get hot water and then pour there. So what you're going to be doing, you're going to be feeling. Then how you feel, you can either have uh, a thermometer, which is meant for uh, hot temperature or water or solutions, or you can use your elbow. So in this case, you can add some more. You feel that this is not warm mixed okay, until the water is uh, warm mixed. Okay. After that, you can also put some water on the hypo tray. Okay. This is hot. Okay. Or you can even just do the same, cold and hot. This water is for the baby's eyes. Okay, you can mix. Okay, so you can do cold water then uh, hot water. Okay, so after that, what you do now is that you're going to start bathing the baby, but you don't use soap, soap on its face. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to hold the baby, okay, like that, then get a swab. 
when you get this one what you're going to do with it is that you're going to block its ears okay so that water doesn't go in its ears so i'm going to get uh, big swabs and put okay there now this is a dummy so you can't you don't expect uh, this to go in because uh, it has no orifices there so you can block so it's just demonstration uh, purposes you can block so that's what you do then about the ears you come and wipe after you are done backing the dead you can even wipe there where you put the swabs okay with just a small swab just wipe it okay so from there what you're going to do is you're going to first of all clean the eyes okay you're going to clean the eyes you get you dip it there so you get the swab then you're going to start from the inner canthus to the outer canthus okay so or you can just say um nasal temporal direction just to clean the eye okay so you just do this with the swab okay, let me just get a bigger one so that you see okay so it's a it's a bigger swab like this okay then you do from the inner canthus to the outer canthus or nasal temporal direction like this you swab then you discard you get another one okay you dip it in this warm water then from there you go nasal temporal again so you do that okay that's how you do it then from there from cleaning the eyes you go now on the face with a figure of eight so you dip it there then you get you get to start from the middle so you, you use a figure of eight or figure of three so you can choose which one is suitable for you so i'll use a figure of eight so i'm going to start from there okay then you go with a big swab okay near the ear there then you turn it you're going to go on top of the nose this side and there on the chin this is part of the eight you get another swab you, since i started from here going this way then on top of the nose came this way then this side so i'm going to begin from here okay the, the other side so from the mid part then towards the ear okay from there now since the swab passed the first swab passed on top of the nose it's going to pass below okay so there then this way until you reach the chin so this is what we call a figure of eight so in case you didn't see clearly the first swab started from the mid part this way up to the almost the ear there then came down here on top of the nose then this side up to the chin that was the first swab so it went this side up to there then the other swab from here mid part went on just down there below the nose then came down here until there so they met there so this is what you call a figure of eight so after you're done with that what you're going to do is you're going to wash the head okay so uh with the ears blocked the uh the the meatus there is blocked or oh, the auditory canal external auditory canal is blocked okay you are going to wash the head so i'm going to get soap okay and i'm going to just hold the baby okay so sometimes what you do is just support using this hand here. So I'm going to just do this, okay? Just that, you put soft, then you can rinse. Okay. You can rinse the soft. So immediately you do that, you dry the baby, okay? So I'm going to dry the baby, okay? Okay. So just ensure that it's dry. So after drying the baby's head, you need to ensure that the baby wears the cap. Okay? Yeah. So this part is done. So you just have to ensure that the baby has head gear so that you prevent hypothemia. You can remove those. Okay. So this is all to prevent hypothemia. So meaning that uh, head gear is done. Okay. So this is how you do it. Now that you want to also clean the rest of the body, what you're going to do is that are going to expose this part we are just assuming that this place is uh, heated up with um overhead heaters okay 
and windows are closed, that's what you do. Okay. So that you prevent hypothermia. So as the baby is exposed like this, you get soap. Okay. Okay. Then you do that with soap. Okay. So you make a good ladder like that. Then after you do that, you're going to start from the neck. Okay. So you're going to do that. Okay. From the neck. Then armpits. Okay. Then you go to its arms. Have you seen? There is soap there. So you just go in a circular motion like that, okay? Because you're even trying to massage the baby. You can get some more soap if you like, and then go to the trunk, okay? Even behind there, okay? You're even trying to massage the baby. So you keep moving, even just that, okay? Then the lower limbs, you go on, okay? In a circular motion until you reach the top. As you can see, this baby has a lot of uh, soap here. So meaning that at least I've tried to scrub the baby. So that's how you do it. Then you go, you hold the baby like this, okay? You hold it with your hand there. Then you go in the dish, in the baby, okay? From there, you just try to remove the soap by rinsing the baby. You wash away the soap, just like that. So this is how it is, okay? Very simple procedure. I'm sure you've got the concept. Okay, you can watch it repeatedly so that you get it. Okay. So after doing that, you're going to dry the baby. So this is the towel that I'm using to dry the baby. Okay. So you can get the baby. So you can be pick the cap for me. So you can dry the baby. Okay. Yeah. So you can use a cap which has uh, those strings so that you, you tie it. Okay. So you can wipe the baby's body like that. Okay. okay. So you can dry it just to ensure that uh, it's not feeling cold. Okay. So after drying the baby, now you can dress up the baby. So the baby can be dressed up in the preferred clothes, maybe from the mother. So in this case, uh, what I have is just a, uh, a blanket or something to swaddle the baby into. Okay, so this you can discard in the in something what maybe in a bin, baby bin. So you do that, okay. So you do, can do that. Then you can swallow the baby just in readiness for dressing up. So after you're done with the procedure, you can go ahead dress up the baby in its gear. Okay. So this is just for swaddling the baby. After the baby has bath, now it's going to be ready to be dressed up. So if, uh, in, in terms of us, you've been given uh, clothing somewhere there, you can easily dress up the baby, okay? You can uh, maybe have the nappy on, okay? You can uh, put, put a nappy there, you can, you know, put it in its clothes. So this is how the baby ought to be bathed. So th our interest was bathing the baby, okay? So it's been swaddled, now it has to be taken back to the mother, so you can take it back to the mother, okay? Like this, or you dress it up yourself. Okay. So thank you very much for watching and uh, keep practicing. So you can't stay with gloves on. Okay? Gloves are going to remove you. And then wash hands afterwards. So you can take the baby to the mother. Let me just take the baby to the mother so that the baby can be comforted. Okay? So thank you very much for allowing me to wash your baby, to bath your baby. Okay? If your baby has been bathed and uh, the baby is okay, no abnormality is noted. Okay, since you are trying to bath, you can even note is there anything that is there that is not okay with the baby, okay? So then you can remove the gloves inside out, okay? After that, you can now go and wash hands. So my encouragement is that we should be able to practice the procedures way before your exams, so that at least you try to, you know, assimilate most of the points. So try to practice as much as you can. Thank you very much and keep watching.